And this is another really interesting one because this one actually combines bidding, market economics, and Tableau and engine building into a Euro style game. And the premise of this one is that two new elements have been discovered on the moon and humans are gonna do as humans do and try to monetize on that. So each round players are gonna be bidding on the best routes to and from the moon. And you're gonna be doing this to try and transport goods and workers from the moon to earth or vice versa. And the interesting aspect here is that you're actually bidding using your victory points. So your victory points do double as your money in this game. And the market is affected by supply and demand. So if you are the first one there, you're guaranteeing that you're gonna get the highest price for whatever goods that you're trying to sell. But if no one is selling the same goods as you, it might be more beneficial to take the slower routes because you can then transport more goods. So you kind of want to watch what the other players are doing. But of course, all this production takes place on the moon. So when players are on the moon, they'll be able to perform some simultaneous actions and they'll be able to place their astronaut workers in order to mine the moon elements, generate goods from those elements, as well as upgrade their base to better produce these goods, but also support the workers that they have on the moon. Because if you've ever lived on the moon, you might notice that there are a few challenges there, especially with things like life support, food, and generally finding air to breathe. So you're going to also have to produce the resources needed in order to support the amount of workers that you currently have. And having your astronaut workers die is a possibility and probably a bit of a waste of their skills and doesn't really amount to the best culture for your moon mining company. The game ends after seven rounds and whoever has the most victory points at that point wins the game.